So you're probably asking yourself how a handsome devil like me ended up in a place like this with you, right? All right. I'll tell you the whole story, but I warn you, it ain't pretty. May seem hard to believe, but these chiseled good looks have seen a whole lot of ugly. So I guess I'd have to start with the book. Legend has it that it was written by the Dark Ones. Necronomicon Ex Mortis, roughly translated, The Book of the Dead. About 20-some-odd years ago, Professor Nobi unearthed the book at Castle Kandar and accidentally unleashed the Deadites in the woods outside Dearborn. That's when I got involved. To make a long story short, I was sent to hell and back, and then back again. And again. But enough about that. Let's talk some more about me. Like, for example, how did I end up here? Well, I guess you could say it all started with a woman. A woman in that godforsaken book. Welcome, true believers, to another... Ch When you've just emptied both barrels of a shotgun into your favorite bartender, you can pretty much bet that happy hour is over. I went outside to see just how bad the situation was. It was bad. Past experience told me it would get a whole lot worse unless someone hit the deadites where it hurt. And seeing as how the TV station was their shortcut into this world, I figured that was a pretty good place to start. But first, I had to find more weapons. My trusty boomstick was almost empty. Kids these days, huh? What are those things? They're everywhere! It's like all hell broke loose! Oh, gee. Do you think? Say, you mind telling me where I can find some more ammo for the old double barrel? I'm just a rookie. They don't give us a shotgun until our second year. I'm pretty good with the sidearm, though. Stick with me and we should be okay. Oh, great. An optimist with a gun. I think I just found a cure for ugly. Say, bub, is there another way in here? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, the boss has the key, but he didn't show up for work yet. You know, the guys from the day shift should have clocked out by now, but there's been some freaking noises coming out of there. I sure hope nothing bad's happened to him. Uh, sorry, pal. Sounds to me like your co-workers are playing footsie with the forces of hell right about now. But I'll keep an eye out for your boss, though. Put in a good word for you. if I had the right equipment. <sighs> Mind if I slip in here, officer? Sorry, nothing goes in, nothing comes out. Orders. You got a problem, take it up with the captain. He's around the corner. Hey, Captain, you boys having a little R&R, &R, I see, huh? Dusting the girls for fingerprints, are you? Funny man. Those things in the yard have taken over the strip club, along with pretty much the whole town. 
Long as they stay in there, we hold these positions. Which means unless you're a cop, you can just turn right around. I relax, I'm on the job, see? Working vice. Deep undercover, you get me? You got a badge to back that up? A badge? Uh, uh, oh, sure, yeah, I'm a cop. I got a badge, right? Only I don't carry it when I'm working on a case, you know. Uh, no badge, no go. Clear? Crystal. I'll be right back. Hey, I think I just found a cure for ugly. Gates are locked. Hey there, Captain. I got my ID. You mind letting me through now? Get yourself a decent weapon, or else kiss your ass goodbye. I told you already, nobody gets in, okay? Hmm. I could cut through this if I had the right equipment. 